Nova Pump came out maybe a year, year and a half ago. Uh, and, and when you look at the formula, you look at, okay, it, it's a really good pump product. It has more than what you would find in most pump products. Um, but there's a couple ingredients in there that kind of stand out. So you have the super spinach and the Pega pump. Can you explain what they do? Yes. Yeah, so um, honestly, like James said, uh, there's a lot of pump products out on the market. And they're they're kind of redundant in terms of their ingredient prof profile. We're going to see your citrullines. You're going to see your glycerols. And you're going to see your agmatines. And those are all great fundamental ingredients in a pump product or a vasodilation product. Uh, where we decided to differentiate ourselves was the inclusion of the super spinach, which has clinical studies. Uh, it's a red st spinach extract that's going to help. It's going to be 9 to 10% nitrate uh if you look at beetroot it's generally two to three percent so you're you're getting much more of a vasodilation effect from the nitrates themselves and that's also going to help with blood pressure support so it's not only the benefit to vascularization uh blood flow that pump but it's also going to help with uh blood pressure management which is really really important because if you look at say you do a leg press your diastolic blood pressure is like 400 over 200 it's you're really raising um your blood pressure especially when you're a high level athlete or you're doing something like weight training that's that's weight intensive and and then with the Pega Pump itself, uh, it works as a PDE5 inhibitor, so uh, very similar to like your Cialis or your Tadalafil, um, and it's going to help with um, endothelial function as well as just opening up the blood vessels. So really, what I have a lot of people do with this product is, is stack it when they use stims, very heavy stim blends, when, whether it's an MV pre of our own or if it's another person's stim or product, whether it be a pre workout or a fat burner, because you try to avoid or, or try to mitigate the the side effects of those vasoconstrictive effects of stimulants. Uh, flavors available. We have unflavored, which is your stackable option. Uh, you have the unicorn. We have uh, blueberry lemonade. And what's the last one again? Uh, the last one is pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Mm -hmm. uh, so how would you rank them in flavors? Honestly, personally, I'm going to go with unicorn candy because I am a big fan of like Smarties. Um, but then I'd go pink lemonade and then blueberry. Yeah, I think I'd be the same. The flavors are actually really good on this one. Mm -hmm.